Greetings, YouTube. At the end of the movie, The Matrix, Keanu Reeves' character, Neo, can see the green rain. He can perceive the very fabric of his reality, something that very few of us ever really truly comprehend. And not just see it, but he can reach out and he can manipulate it. When he makes that phone call at the end, he steps out of that phone booth. He puts on those glasses. And he just soars into the sky. It was a wonderful scene. It was a great ending to that movie. And I loved it. I mean, yes, The Matrix has, you know, the philosophical depth of a puddle. But it was a lot of fun. It was visually stunning. And it was a good time. And it ended on a great note. And the reason I was so phenomenally distressed over the second and third films is that they open up with Neo having forgotten how to see the green rain. He spent the next two films jumping through hoops held up for him by the architect. Like a video game, going step by step, level by level, taking on whatever minions and tricks and traps and obstacles the architect felt like putting in his path until the end of the series. And even though it was visually intriguing, it was ultimately disappointing and dull. Well, that's the sensation I got when I left the latest Harry Potter movie last night with my wife. We finally caught it at the cheap theaters, Harry Potter Deathly Hallows, the film that people have been looking forward to for years, who have talked about for months. I've listened to countless reviews and commentary and discussions about this film right here on our beloved YouTube. So I went there with some fairly high hopes, which was my mistake, I think. Because I was sorely disappointed. I did not feel an emotional connection with this film in the least. It felt like they had placed these actors on their marks, and they had them read cue cards. And that's the connection I felt that those people had with the film they were in. There was just nothing. I felt nothing when Mad Eye died. I felt nothing when Dobby died. Uh, I, I felt no connection to any of the relationships in the film. I was waiting for the bromance to break apart and have conflict, and well, there it was. I was waiting for the implication of the relationship between Harry and Hermione, and there it was. It hit all the beats. It, it, it played out the notes put in front of it. But there was no music. I used to play the trumpet. I was good. But in all the years I played trumpet, in all the years I mastered those notes, I never once played music. I just became technically adept at playing notes. And there's a difference between note playing and making music. And this film had the same problem for me. They technically played notes, and it didn't make music. And of course there's the politics. How does a nation of individuals, of wizards, of mages, of, of witches, let politics roll it over? The only equivalent I could make to our world is, is, is that a nation of military veterans, of special forces veterans, all of whom are armed and trained stand idly by and let politicians destroy their world and their lives. I wanted to scream at that screen last night, stand up and fight! But they just went on to the next plot point, the next note that had to be played. Bum bum, bum bum, bum bum. 
and I'll, I'll go see the last film when it comes out. I'll wait till it hits the cheap theaters as well. I'd like to see the ending. I have a certain affection for the actors that were in this film, at least. I'd like to see how they finally play it out. Now, I haven't read the novels. I freely admit I'm basing this purely on what the films do. But it's a film, and it has to stand on its legs as a film. It is not just a hypertext link to the text of the book. My wife says that she got more out of it because she'd read the novels, and she has all of them. But this should not be an accessory to the novels. This needs to be a film in and of its own right, that stands up and functions as a bit of cinematic entertainment. I'm not looking for depth. I'm not looking for more in peace or rosebud or anything. I want a film that's consistent and entertaining and engaging and pulls me in and gets me involved with the people on the screen. And I wasn't. So I apologize for any nerd fighters out there who I might have upset, any Harry Potter fans I may have upset. It was not my desire to do so. But I was disappointed, and I feel no need to hide that. So if anyone can tell me what will make the last film go better for me, uh, and I'm not going to read the novels. Maybe I'm just going to be doomed to be disappointed, because I enjoyed all the other ones I watched. I had problems with uh, some of them as individual films, but I still enjoyed them. But this one, this one I didn't. I'm feeling kind of sad about it.